Welcome back everyone, Dustin here again, Average Guy Hi-Fi with another video for you guys. This one's gonna be a little bit different. I'm trying to get back to my roots a little bit. Um, I've been buying, as you guys know, some of the stuff I've been buying is a little on the expensive side, um, you know, but that's not the reason I started this channel. I kind of started this channel to help people save a little bit of money. Also to kind of give you an idea of what to look out for on the used market when it comes to picking up uh, used home theater equipment, speakers, subwoofers, things like that. So. This video, it's gonna be a little bit of an experiment. What I'm going to try to do is trade or sell this stack of gear. These are kind of random pieces that have been in a storage unit. I've been clearing things out, freeing up some money, kind of got some big plans for my, my main system out there. So, um, and just a little bit too much clutter over the years. When you buy speakers for 20 years on the used market, you end up with a lot of random stuff. And this is kind of a pile of it. So my plan for this like little bit video series is going to be I'm going to try to take this pile of speakers and then convert it either into cash that I roll into a good pair of bookshelf speakers, a good subwoofer, a full 5.1 system, whatever. I'm just going to try to trade or barter um, and then keep going up and up and see if I can increase the value of this. Just to kind of give you guys an idea of what's possible out there because whenever you list something on the used market, a lot of times you get offers for stuff for trade and you're like, oh my gosh, that's actually a really good offer. but not exactly what I'm looking for. I'd rather have the cash. So this is going to be kind of, um, again, I'll take cash for this set and then I'm just going to roll it into the next gear. And I'm probably going to do this over the course of a month and a half, I would say, and then kind of just give you, keep you guys in the loop in my other videos on what, what's going on with this system. So what this consists of, this is all the stuff that I'm maybe trading. So this is a, a Klipsch Synergy C20 center channel speaker. It's in good shape, got a couple marks and things like that on it, but overall it's in good shape. Center channels are one of those speakers that can be pretty hard to come by, especially if you're waiting for ones that have been discontinued. Say you have the matching bookshelves and you've been waiting for the center channel, things like that. So I always just keep them. So I probably have a few more in my storage unit, just center channels laying around. Um, and hopefully these will get put to good use. Somebody out there, I'm, I'm assuming like maybe a speaker flipper or somebody that owns like a little online store this would be a good value for them. Um, but ideally this would be a trade, but trying to find somebody that wants to trade like, I don't know, Sierra bookshelf speakers for this pile is gonna be pretty pretty difficult, I would think, just given my previous experience, but we'll see. That's why I thought this video would be kind of fun for you guys. Uh, this right here is a Polk CS2 Series 2 center channel. Again, it's in good shape. The grill's got some wear and stuff like that on it, but overall pretty good. And then we have kind of a, the big center channel here. This is the Klipsch RC35 center channel. So those are the three center channels that I'm including in this trade or selling. And then what we have over there in the corner that I couldn't really fit in the frame, you guys know I'm in this tiny place here. And I think that's kind of why you follow this channel. You know that I'm, I'm living within budgets and a little bit of tighter place, but that over there is a Velodyne DLS 3500R subwoofer. So, um, what I'm gonna do is again, I'm gonna post this stuff up, hopefully for trade. That's ideally what I'd wanna do. Um, bookshelf speakers are kinda of ideal for me because then I can, it's easier for me to hook them up to my Peachtree Nova, which that, that review is coming. I'm just taking notes and things like that, really preparing for it because I just love that piece. So ideally I'd be picking up some speakers that I can just hook up into two channel, um, listen to them, and then to give you guys another review on those. And it would be really nice if I can kind of just get to the point where I get something really awesome, keep trading up. And again, if I do that over six weeks, you kind of never know what you could come up with. And that's why this hobby is so fun for me. Um, I've gotten some amazing deals out there. And I thought about doing a video on that as well, too, just sharing with you guys some amazing deals that I've gotten, just to give you a little bit more motivation to be out there setting up your uh, searches and be prepared when somebody offers something, especially that you've been looking for. So um, like I got a Klipsch RC64 for $50. I told the lady that um, this is the original one. It matched my RF63s. Uh, Never should have sold those either. But, you know, I told the lady it's worth way more. And she's like, I don't care. It's just in my way. So, you know, handshake deal. And I was out of there. So there's plenty of deals like that that I've gotten. And that's why I really like this stuff. You can kind of ball on a budget, as they say. You don't need to spend a lot of money. And I've got a lot of kind of cool ideas for videos. Um, other channel update is that I just monetized the channel <laughs> right now. I just checked before this video and I think I'm just going to start putting in there how much money I made off YouTube along with my subscriber account, what uh, subscriber account, what I always put in there. I'll start just telling you guys exactly where, how much money I've made. 
I turned on the monetization about a week and a half ago, and I think I'm sitting at like $26. You know, it's like just passive income, and I'm kind of one of those type of guys my older age. It's like, all right, let's just keep pumping out videos, doing this type of stuff. Um, and then again, I, I'm just enjoying it. This is what I would do anyway, and these are the type of videos that I would be watching, especially if I was getting new into the hobby or I had very limited budget. So I'm kind of going to get back to my roots. The moral of this um, whole story is that I want to start focusing on uh, more used deals again. I've been, again, buying for myself, but I've kind of been building my dream system out there with those those Kef R3s. I've got those Rel Predator 1508s and kind of that type of stuff. But I also realized that, especially right now with the economy and people not making a lot of money, but they're still passionate about the hobby that you don't have to spend a lot. And I'm going to kind of pull the system back a little bit. I did buy a new TV, so that'll be coming up here as well, too. Um, I also am going to redo my front stage basically i'm going to get rid of that tv stand i'm going to do like an av cabinet um so basically it's just going to be the tv center channel two subs two bookshelf speakers and possibly two height speakers just wanted to kind of clean that up a little bit again this is my living room so a lot of videos um coming up here i've got a new uh, wall mount that i want to do a brief video on before we get it uh up on the up on the the that 77 inch tv up on the wall so a lot of content coming in and again, I'm just going to be honest with you guys how much money I make on this channel. I do have a day job. I'm not reliant on this or anything like that. It's just kind of fun because after all these videos that I've made over all these years and everything, just kind of see where um, actually how much money you can actually make on this, uh, doing this little thing. So hopefully that information helps you guys. So again, this is the main part of this video is just to see what I can do with trading these speakers and going up. Hopefully I can continue the process of, uh, you know, ideally I would get something that's more expensive than these and then something that's more expensive than that. And then be reviewing these things, especially as I'm getting ready to get rid of them. So stay tuned. These are some channel changes. Um, wanted to give you guys this video. Another thing that I promised you in the last Polk R200 video is a sound comparison um, demo. And I got everything set up. I got the speakers calibrated, posted the video. It got blocked instantly. So if you guys can give me some advice on how to get around the copyright. I was just playing Eagles Hotel California. I was really happy with the way that, they, um, that it turned out between the RP600Ms and the R200s. If you are in a band or if you know somebody that has like copyright free music, I'd prefer it to be on CD so I can give you guys kind of the best um, example of that song. Post a, post a comment down below. Uh, also, give me channel ideas. I really, I can't compete with the big YouTubers, but they look like they're having fun. I, ideally, I would like to be able to kind of go to the the big trade shows and do collaborations with those guys as well too. My job keeps me pretty busy, but who knows? If I can make this channel big enough, then I would just turn it into like a, this would be my career. I'd even want to do like a little office around here where I had blind um, two channel listening for anybody in the Seattle area to stop by. It's kind of a dream of mine. Just rent a little office, have a curtain up, a acoustically transparent screen or whatever it does to block what's behind it and see if people can guess how much money and what's going on behind the screen there. Because I think people would be surprised just at how well some of these budget speakers can compete with some of the more expensive stuff. And I've been around the block, I've done it myself, uh, so I kind of know. Obviously, um, there are speakers that sound better that are more expensive, but how big is that premium? You know, that's gonna be that's gonna be up to you decide if it's worth you to take that leap or not. So again, um, big changes going on for the channel. I'm back to motivated. Um, I think my uh, I just want to kind of put out content that you guys enjoy and something that really helps the beginners and the budget minded out there, people like me. Thanks again. My name is Dustin. And the name of the channel is Average Guy Hi-Fi.